The following video is intended for mature audiences who enjoy crude college humor. If you are offended by attractive women, alcohol, or strong sexual innuendos of any kind, please stop watching this video now. For those of you who enjoy the funny, we invite you to keep watching. Welcome back, Pongsters. In case you've just joined us, we're bringing you live coverage of the WNBA-sanctioned Bat 19 Invitational. I'm Francis, he's champ, and we're in the middle of a real doozy. Let's take a look at the score in this decisive Game 3. Before our last break, Liz Bean nailed her 8th cup of the contest, giving her a commanding 8-5 lead over French rival Rouge Moonshare. Liz struck first today, winning Game 1 in dramatic fashion. Both ladies had just one cup remaining when Liz sunk the game-winning shot. You know, Franny, I really like the way she handled that victory. Nothing fancy, just her signature Liz being lit. Frankly, Fran, I didn't think Rouge would ever recover. Not only did she recover, champ, but she came back with authority and skunked Liz in game two. What impressed me the most was this girl's health. Bounce after bounce and not an ounce of reported back pain. That's beyond remarkable, Fran. What's really remarkable is our brand new sponsor, Porto Pong. That's right, the Porto Pong portable beer pong table is constructed of double layered vinyl, so you know it's more durable than that condom in your wallet, Fran Antonio. Back to the action. With the score eight cups to five in favor of Liz Bean, Rouge Moonshare is determined to cut into the lead. Apparently, she's trying a new strategy which includes kissing the ball somewhat seductively before throwing it. Here's the toss and nothing but beverage, but wait. A replay is showing an infraction. Evidently, Rouge stepped outside of the designated throwing area. For those of you unfamiliar with the setup, this game table rests on two large blue circles painted on the arena floor. Directly at the center of each blue circle is a smaller red circle. This red circle functions as the throwing area. Because Rouge stepped outside of this area, her previous toss has been negated. It certainly has, Franny baby. And for all you history buffs out there, this small red circle used to be referred to as the throwing areola. All right, with that last infraction, five cups still remain on the table. Ms. Moonshare is ready to fire again, employing the same ball kissing strategy. Oh my goodness, the ball bounces off Liz's body and into a cup. Take a look at this replay. The ball sails through the air, collides with a C cup, and lands an A cup. Unbelievable! I've never seen that happen before, and I can't find a ruling to see if it's legit. <laughs> Not only is it legit, Frangina, but it also means that Liz must take her shirt off. Wow! I love this game! What else do you love, champ? I love port pong More specifically, I love that each end of the table provides you with 10 cup holders for your rack. My, what a beautiful rack it is. In a strange showing of solidarity, Rouge Moonshare has just taken her shirt off. Whoa! Fantastic! If I were a gambler man, I'd bet that in addition to the porta pong there are at least two more inflatable devices among us today. As the excitement builds, Liz prepares for her first shirtless toss of the evening. Here's the toss, and she drains it, leaving just one cup on the table. What a shot, Frantangelo! But equally awesome is the way Rouge chugs your beer. I haven't seen a mouth and throat work in unison like that since oh, the 2004 okay, champ. adult... Let's see if Liz can end this thing with one more throw. Oh, but wait. She appears to be complaining about the inflation of the table. She says she wants more air before her next toss. I can't find anything in the rule book about table inflation. Uh, it, it's an unwritten rule, Franny Mae. Uh, the opponent of the player requesting more air must inflate the table orally. That can't be right. It's all kinds of right. Take a look at that. Notice how her lips form a tight seal around the shaft of the valve as she blows. Her mother raised her well, wouldn't you say? Fran? Well, that is the way you're supposed to inflate the port upon champ. It looks like we're finally ready for Liz's second shot. Remember, if she sinks it, she wins. There is no redemption. Liz fires the ball and... Bingo! It finds the bottom of the cup. Liz Bean has just won the WNBA sanctioned VAT 19 Invitational, while Rouge Moonshare suffers the hard to swallow loss. Any thoughts on what you just witnessed, champ? Sorry, uh, Fran. I've got nothing. I just want to watch. We're thrilled that you could join us for our exclusive coverage of the VAT 19 Invitational. As always, we'd like to thank our wonderful sponsor, Porta Pong. Porta Pong, available now from vet19.com.